Have you had back or neck surgery and you haven't seen the improvement or the change that you'd hoped for? Statistics show that almost half of all back surgeries fail. In fact, because there is such a high failure rate, the medical field even developed a medical diagnosis code called failed back surgery syndrome. Now, if that has happened to you or someone you love, what do you do then? Here to share with us exactly how he is helping these patients find relief and hope is our good friend, Dr. Zach Parker. First off, why, why is there such a high failure rate when it comes to that? I, I would have not guessed that in a million years that that was a problem, but why is it so high? Well, there's several reasons. A lot of times the surgery, when you're coming in, you're, you're trying to correct the damage that's done. They're trying to stabilize the area. But you have to understand there's a reason the damage was done in the first place. The surgery is correcting the problem, but it's not correcting what caused the problem the in, the first place. in the first place. And, so, and sometimes it does. In some cases it does. But most of the time it's treating the result of the problem. And so you're going in, if you have a disc, a bulging disc or herniated disc, you're fixing the disc. But what caused the disc to herniate or bulge in the first place was irregular um, forces and, and movements on the disc. So a lot of those are going on. You have... We always have scar tissue as a result of surgery. Um, there's, there's just a lot of factors that go into it, but it's extremely high rate. It's scary. Well, know? what can be done for those people then that go in thinking, hey, this is going to solve the problem. Um, several years later, they're still not getting the comfort and the relief that they'd hoped for. So what can be done for them? Well, in some cases, you've got a patient that goes through the process and actually they come out of surgery and they're not getting the relief they want. They're not getting the changes that they want. They didn't get pain relief or they didn't see the functional improvements that they want. That's a different condition <coughs> that has to be addressed and that we have to look at neurologically. What's happening with the patient? Was there issues with scar tissue? Is there issues with, did, did we actually address the underlying cause? And we have, we have to build that up from the neurologically uh, examination all the way, look all the way through the neurological examination to see exactly how we can benefit that patient and help okay. that patient. Um, there are other cases, there's patients that have had surgery, saw relief immediately after surgery for a couple years or you know two, three years, and, and then they start having the same symptoms again and they start seeing things go back. And that's a whole different type of condition what in many of these cases they'll go in and fuse the spine well that changes the biomechanics of the spine okay and that's going to be helpful for a little while but because we change the biomechanics the areas immediately around that surgery are going to now be compromised okay. and they're going to be at greater risk and what usually happens is in three to five years that is affecting the disc above and below and they're talking about doing another surgery to try and now stabilize right. that area. Is that pretty common? Again, I, I, I don't know, that's why I'm asking an expert. Is it pretty common to, it, once you have that back surgery or that neck surgery, there's probably another one in your future? Very common, unfortunately. Yeah. And most, most surgeons will tell you that it, um, depending where it's at, mm -hmm. uh, that's going to vary depending on where they're having to do the surgery at. But yes, usually three to five years, you're going to have to come back in because this disc or this. Is, and, and so a lot of patients, what's really interesting is if they've had surgery, a lot of patients are very scared to go see a chiropractor or go see someone for, for maintenance of the spine. Um, now, obviously, if someone's had a surgery, we want to treat them differently. How we take care of that patient's going to be different. But those patients need care more even than someone that hasn't right. had the surgery because they're more at risk for these other areas because of the change in the biomechanics and that has to be addressed very carefully but the other part is we really from the beginning we got to go back and see what was the cause in the first place irregular movements irregular stresses irregular muscle patterns um, what was causing that that patient to actually develop the problem in the first place if we can address that that will help to remove a lot of the stress and the strain and they're less likely to have to have a problem and i feel like we do these we do these segments often dr parker but i i feel like we we, we get into this when when i when i talk with you is you want it's like a book you want to go back to page one yeah. and find out okay how in the world did we get here yeah. And so you, you like to go all the way back and kind of figure out, and I guess that, that really is, is, is the blueprint, right? In, in Trying many, to figure out how you got there to begin with. Absolutely. In many cases, if we can establish where the problem came from, then we can, we can begin to fix it easier. We can address it. Because sometimes, you know, if you just look at it from, from face value, sometimes you can see, well, this is where the problem is. Well, you, you go back and look at it, and, and there's an injury that changed the way we walked or changed, you know, we were in a cast for a while or we were in a boot for our foot for a while and it changed the way the hips rotate. All those things, we have what's called a kinetic chain in the body. All of those things work together. 
And unfortunately, in medicine day, everybody likes to specialize, and they like to specialize in one area. And that area doesn't take into account a lot of the other mechanics. And so we try to look at it, take a step back, look at it from a more holistic view of what's yeah. happening. But we also, we do want to see where it's originated from. Okay. If you can find that point, then it's much easier to go back and correct things. Well, if you feel like there is a, a pardon the parlance of, of, of the Old West, but if you feel like there is a hitch in your giddy up, <laughs> there is an opportunity to get help. Talk about the special that you guys have right now, Dr. Parker. Well, right now, our studio, uh, studio four viewers, we always like to do something special for them, but I don't know if someone's having these issues, or uh, then obviously they're in, they're struggling, and and so we'd like to give them opportunity to come into our office. They can get a full neurological and spinal examination in our office and see if there's something we can do to help. We may or may not be able to. We never know till we do that examination. But normally that's about two hundred eighty-five dollars. Wow. We're doing a, a special for your uh, studio four viewers. If they call the office uh, um, in in the next two weeks, we'll be glad to do that for them for just eighty-nine dollars. Okay, so that's three five two fifteen hundred. If you want to call and get more information, you can also learn more about what Dr. Parker does over at the West Texas Wellness Center uh, by going to their website, westtexaswellness.net. Dr. Parker, good to catch up with you as always. We'll have more Studio 4 coming up after this.